I hate that for one second I ever thought that this was cute because everyone what's up my name is Serena welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you've never been here before today we are going to be making the video where I show you guys how I did my makeup in high school I have seen every single makeup youtuber doing this and even youtubers who don't do makeup and I just think it's hilarious I just think it's funny to like look back and reminisce on how bad I was at doing my makeup, how ugly I looked, but yet I thought that I was good at doing my makeup. Like, I, I remember thinking like, wow, you know, I, <laughs> this is so embarrassing, don't come for me for this, okay, I, I would just be like, oh yeah, like, I'm having a great day, like, I look so cute. High school was rough, okay, actually, not really. Like, I was one of those people who couldn't leave her house without wearing makeup. And now I literally go to school, go to work without wearing makeup because I just don't care. I'm like, whatever. But like when I was in high school, I would never be caught dead without my makeup on, okay? I feel like I was just an insecure little turtle, you know? I just, I, I just, I didn't know how to function as a human being without having makeup. I really enjoy doing my makeup now because it's fun and I do it for me and I think it, like, it makes me feel good about myself and it makes me feel good to have my makeup done but I don't wear it every single day like I used to I don't wear it religiously and I don't like oh I can't leave my house cuz like I don't have makeup on like give me five minutes I gotta put makeup on you know none of that so I guess let's just get into this makeup routine because <laughs> I'm kind of scared we didn't use primer in high school who is primer we don't know her um I would always start out just putting on my foundation and honestly I had this one foundation you guys I did the most for this video because I had this one foundation in high school that I probably used like three out of four years of high school like this was my foundation this was my go-to this was my I don't know I felt like this was just the best foundation ever and I literally scoured the internet trying to find this this particular thing of makeup because Maybelline doesn't actually make this makeup anymore they they discontinued it so I had to literally buy it from like some sketchy third-party seller on walmart.com for like $12 to get this stupid makeup but I wanted to have the full effect the foundation that I used for most of high school was this Maybelline Dream Air Foam. Literally a foaming foundation. That is what I used. I have another, hold on, I have another one that I used too. I also, for the rest of high school, was using the Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. Literally, this is the cakiest, chunkiest foundation I've ever seen in my life. I don't know why I still have it. It is kind of ridiculous but I use that too I'm gonna warn you guys you might be triggered by this next moment but I didn't use a beauty blender in high school I was literally just put the foundation on my hand and like rub it on my face I'm not joking this is so disgusting I can't believe I I can't believe I did this ew it's like so <laughs> I haven't used this in so long. Hold on. I have a mirror right here, so that's why I'm like looking down here. Oh my god. I think I used too much. I love myself. Wow. Serena. I don't know why, like. People think you're weird. Like, why? This is so gross. I feel like I'm putting on moisturizer or soap. Gotta really like dab it in, you know? Oh, it was also definitely a thing to get like makeup that was way too orange for my skin tone. So, you like that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And I wonder why high school was so hard for me. <laughs> it really wasn't hard. I don't know why I said that. Depending on the day, sometimes I'd get a little squirt squirt, you know? And put it um, down on my neck so that it'd get a little bit blended, you know? Since no one is actually this color of orange. Like, no one is this shade. So, like, sometimes when I wasn't really lazy and I feel like, you know, matching the rest of my body, I would just, you know, put some on my neck and call it a day. Like, oh my gosh, I should have, I should have gotten Hunter's reaction to my makeup today because he would have been like, are we in high school again? Okay, so next we have the, um setting powder which I get in a shade that is already way too dark for my already tan orange face um, and it is the covergirl clean pressed powder and it is in the um, in like a tan shade pretty sure I got this like a few months ago to use as like bronzer or like contour you know but like this is what I was wearing on my whole face back then so like let's get into it I also would never use like a brush I would just use this little sponge like whatever this thing is a splubble I would use that um, on just to rub it all over my face so <laughs> oh this is tragic I feel like this is so not okay like who let me do this mom will you let me leave the house looking like this I feel like the goal in high school was to look as tan as possible no matter how fake it looked because the rest of your body ain't that color so like why is your face that color I feel like I'm exaggerating because I don't feel like I did this for that long I feel like someone someone had to have stopped me right I don't know I'm kind of a free spirit I kind of do what I want and you know my mom probably was like, Serena, that's not how you wear makeup. And I was like, Mom, you don't own me. You don't know me. You don't control me. And then I left the house looking like this. Sometimes I wouldn't even, like, bother getting in my eyeballs. So, like, the rest of my face would be tan and <laughs> my eyeballs would be, like, white. It's whatever. Why did I stop wearing my makeup like this? Wow. Okay, so when I was in high school, I had this teacher who, he basically told me that I wear too much makeup and it makes me ugly. And that is, I feel like that is so not okay to tell a high school girl that you think she's ugly when she's wearing her makeup. But like, he had a point, you know what I mean? Like, now I'm like, he had a point. He was just looking out for me and here I am complaining whatever oh also we don't use concealer any of that stuff we didn't contour we didn't highlight we don't do any of that stuff because this is like 2013 2012 that's when I was in high school so like it wasn't a big thing back then I feel like my the very end of my senior year I think like my senior prom I contoured my face for prom it looked really bad because I didn't know how to do it, but like I at least attempted, you know? So like it was becoming a trend, but it like wasn't all there yet. I don't know. The next thing that I'm going to do is my eyebrows and Lord help us now because I really, I really was bad at doing my eyebrows. I had an eyebrow pencil, which is, it was, I don't know if it was this one or if it was just one like this one. This one's more of like a grayish tint to it, but I had a pencil that was like black like literally like an eyeliner pencil and I'm pretty sure I got it from like the dollar store I don't remember but it was eyeliner and eyebrow pencil all in one and that is what I wore in my eyebrows every day and eyebrows again like the contouring weren't like a big thing when I was in high school they're not like they are now where everyone can like have beautiful sculpted brows you know we didn't know what we were doing back then I didn't know what I was doing back then so like Basically, all I did, and I read this in a magazine that this is how you're supposed to fill in your eyebrows. I would literally just, like, take my pencil and just, like, make these, like, little lines all through my eyebrows. I'm going to try to mimic it the way that I used to do it because it's, I don't even, like, really remember. I just, I would literally just, like, draw lines in the direction of my eyebrow like this and then be, like, that's good. Okay. 
they didn't have much shape to them and if you look at any picture of me from high school my brows they be they be weak okay they're not they're not that good but like I just kicked my camera but like we working with what we have my absolute favorite thing to do most of high school was to take a silver eyeshadow which was in this Rimmel London palette that is probably they don't, probably don't even make this anymore because it's like 10 years old it's definitely expired <laughs> I would get one of these brushes, you know, the little, what are these even called? I don't even know. There is something in my eye and it hurts. It's probably that foundation. I would just like get a little bit on my, on this thing, whatever it's called, this Fladuda. Um, I'll get a little stuff on the Fladuda and I would just put it under, under my eyeball, like down here. I don't even know if you can tell that I put, my eyes are watering. What is in my eye? And that was that. I would, you know. I remember like the very first time that I wore this under my eyes like this, I went to school and Hunter was like, you look so beautiful today. And that just like gave me motivation to wear this makeup look like every single day from then on. I was like, you supported, <laughs> you supported my bad makeup. Like you're the real MVP. I love you so much. And then I would just put on mascara and like I would not curl my eyelashes. I would not do anything. I would just, there is the completed finished makeup look. Am I cute? Oh, I also wore this shirt because I got it in high school. I'm so grateful that I learned how to do at least my eyebrows, kind of, at least get the right foundation shade. <sighs> that has been my tutorial. And I also wouldn't do anything to my lips, which I still don't really do. I still, we still don't F with eyeliner, but we didn't F with eyeliner back in the day either, so... Thank you so much for watching. I want to do more makeup videos, but I want to do like videos like this where it's not a serious video, like, because I don't know how to do makeup, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you sometime soon with a new video. Bye!